quarterback situation with McCarron going out, state affairs at quarterback now? Yeah, um, I really feel for A.J. McCarron. You know, he's, uh, anytime I got something like that happens, it's non-contact, it's, uh, it's tough when you, and you know what these guys put into it. And so I feel for A.J., you know, we'll, we'll obviously get the uh, MRI to confirm, but, uh, you know, he, he's, he's heartbroken. He, he had bounced back and uh, he was out there fighting and fighting for his team and trying to get the extra yards. But uh, and I understand injuries are part of the game, but there's still a human element. And so I feel for AJ. Is there some fear that, that, that it could be a longer term thing? We just have to see the MRI. And uh, are you all prepared to be in the open quarterback market if necessary? Well, you're always going to look to improve the team, uh, D-Led. And so, you know, we have to assess and see what, what the injury is, you know, until until we get in the MRI, you know, you've seen, we've seen things happen before. So, you know, it's, it's quick, but, but anytime, uh, you know, we're, we're always looking to improve the roster. Um, and then if, if, if it is long-term, sure, we, we will continue to look there. Do you like? How did Felipe uh, play for you? Came in, took him down right away, and then, you know, uh, got a couple late touchdowns, but. Uh... Yeah, well, so he came in there and, um, and that is the job, you know, he, you know, he was the backup quarterback tonight and, he has to be ready, and he stepped in there, and he did drive us down. He made a made a play on fourth down. The one thing that Felipe is continuing to show him is he can extend plays. I thought thought he threw the ball a little bit better tonight at times. Uh, still going to push him, you know, where he's had a lot of growth and can continue to grow. And and the reason I, I respect Felipe because he's a tough minded guy, and, and you can push Felipe, and we want to continue to push our operation. And uh, you know, he's thrown into situations that you can never replicate at practice. And these are very valuable reps for him and for all those guys out there. And you got to throw a flag today. How's the operation work? Was that from, were they called from up top? Or y'all no. The side um, side? No, that was from up box. It's really good teamwork. Um, so, you know, you're kind of waiting to see, uh, you know, how the booth review is going to go. So you're waiting, you're waiting, and then, you know, they tell you about 20 seconds if they don't do it. And we had really good communication upstairs. That's good teamwork. And so I threw it. But I waited and I threw it and, and we won the challenge. So I was happy with that. Doing, uh, do, doing everything else that is involved with, 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 with uh, head coaching um, as opposed to just calling an end office game plan, has that all been pretty natural uh, for you? Yeah, we've got a great staff and, and you've got to trust people to do their job. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's nice for me. You talk about the young guys getting reps. It's good for me to get reps yeah. in, in that role, Scott. So it um, feels great. You know, like I said, it, it's, it's nice. You know, tonight I felt a little more uh, comfortable when I did have to turn my back. If I wanted to say something to the quarterback, I knew we have communication upstairs and, and a guy on, on the sideline that can, then that's a good thing about the headsets. And I thought that communication was clean tonight. Uh, but yes, I mean, the, the preseason games helped me as well. What was the experience like for your second team defense getting a lot of reps against their first team offense? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's life in the NFL, and, and like I said, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it, and that's the fun part about coaching and the decisions that we make as an organization, because we're going to rely on those guys at some point, and that's been my experience. And when you have a chance to develop players, that's invaluable. So everybody's got a different situation. Those are guys that are going to play on Sunday, and there's there's not a better experience in the world. It's unfortunate, we, we, you know, we got to be a little bit cleaner. We got to get off the field on third down. We need to operate better in the red zone. Um, but I was happy at times those guys stood up. It was huge, and that's why we decided to play the young guys. We, we thought we had a very productive week. Uh, I can't give enough credit to Miami and their staff. It was a very clean two days. Uh, it's just easier said than done, and, and that's a credit to their staff. And, and uh, I was very pleased with both teams, and we got a lot of good work out there. I mean, we got something 95 competitive reps both days, Wednesday and Thursday, and then those guys got another step tonight. It can it's too, I, I just when when something like that happens and you got to take them out, you know you're, you're, we're going to be very cautious and, and, and until we get the final word, um, you know and, and like I normally don't like talk about injuries, but uh, you know it, I don't know we'll have to see. I did, it didn't look good. What is uh, what do you learn about your team? I guess this week. A lot. You know the, uh, we want to see if they're going to push through. We we don't want to be front runners. We want to be a team that can stand up. A tough tough situations because that's the nature of the beast in the NFL. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, we, we got down too many possessions. It, it, we want guys that are going to continue to swing 
and be able to close games because these, these games are going to come down in the regular season more times than not to one possession. And we, we got to control those situations. It certainly helps, uh, but I think the, you know, in, in the week in practice as you build up, you know, it's hard when you're not tackling in practice. But we we felt pretty good, good back and forth during the week, and then tonight, um, we were able to give those backs carries, and that's what we didn't get to last week. Like I said, uh, you know, if you're going to be the optimist, the silver lining. At least we cut down some of the penalties, so we weren't and get back on track. We were able to get in some drives, um, but we need to score on more possessions clearly. You know, he, he missed a lot of time, and, and Caleb's done a nice job working himself back into shape. And that's why the very first play went right behind him. It was no secret, went right to the right side behind him, and I thought he came off the football. And Caleb, uh, uh, been pleased with Caleb's progress, and he, he's, he's bought in and he, he's working through it. Uh, any concern with the second miss uh, from Coop? I'm very confident in Youngway. No, I'm 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 all right with with young way. Michael Rothstein. Hey, I don't, know, I don't know if you can actually see us here from just like. I can see you. Okay, uh, just to, for some clarity with McCarran, is the sense that he got hurt actually on that run, or was it a complete non-contact situation? You know, uh, Michael. Again, until we get the full evaluation, I just. You know, going going through what what he's communicating, we got to go back, and obviously the doctors will pull the film. And then we have to get an MRI. And when you look at trying to evaluate Olison, he's really going with the second team offensive line against a lot of Miami's first team defense. Does that maybe skew some of the evaluation of how you look at maybe the yard for carry and some of the runs no. versus some of the other guys? Like, does that change no. how you look at it? No, it, because those guys, those are guys that play on Sunday. And if you're going to be a regular contributor, you can't. Those, that that experience out there is is so valuable, and that we're not going to make excuses, you know. And so, uh, but Quadra, he's done. A, he had a nice week, and it was good to get him in there and get him in there in the protection, because those are that's that's critical for the back, you know. You know, however we use the back, but you got to have guys that can get in there and pr protect on those critical downs, third down, fourth down, and, and two minute. Jeff Schultz, Arthur. Uh, and it, notwithstanding any Jay's injury, I mean. Because the back of quarter, the quarterbacks have been in there with all the backups, has it been difficult to evaluate their play, or do you think you've gotten a decent read on, you know, sort of what their level is? Well, you know, it, AJ, when we signed him, he, he's played in the NFL, so you, you have actual NFL games to evaluate. Felipe is the one that's, to me, he's had the biggest growth, and that's why these these last two games for him to come in there and play, uh, you just can't replicate that in practice. And to develop quarterbacks in this league, you've got to play them. There's no other way to, to, to get around it. And so that was our philosophy going into these first two games. And then the situation is very unfortunate what happened to AJ, but that's life as a backup. So Felipe is going to be your backup quarterback. Unfortunately, that's, what, that's, that's the situation that happens a lot of times. Whether it's the first play of the game, you hope it doesn't happen, but then you get into a drive and he's got to get, get ready to go and be prepared. Yeah, again, I, I know this is preseason and they're backups and, you know, not necessarily being strategic in play calling or anything, but have you been disappointed in the offensive offenses production at all in the two games? Uh, I mean, the best way to, to, to answer your, your question, Jeff, we, we got to evaluate how we're playing schematically. We're not out there trying to trick anybody. We're trying to see if we can block, we can get open, we can catch. I thought some guys took another step tonight. Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of different philosophies, 32 different philosophies. We, you know, we, we're trying to run our, our, our bread and butter and to, and to get apples to apples evaluation. Um, so, again, I thought we took another step. You know, we, we, we got in there and we need to possess the ball a little bit longer. And we need to, when we get down in the red zone, we need to take advantage.